Hello viewers, my name is Vignesh and I'm with Agilin Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to set up RS-232 connection with the 34970A uh, data acquisition instrument and LAN interface with the 34972A data acquisition instrument. Okay viewers, now we are looking at the front panel of the 34970A at the bottom and 34972A at the top. Now let's set up RS-232 on 34970A. What you would do is hit shift local and then stall recall. Right now it's set to GPIB and you can see that uh, RS-232 is in a lighter color so if you select it, it will become the brighter one. Uh, next, you can set the baud rate, hit store recall, you can set the number of bits in the RS-232 frame, hit store recall. You can set the flow to X on, X off or none, uh, set it to X on, X off, hit store recall and you're done. So um, sometimes when you hit shift local, uh, shift local and store recall, a name state appears. What you would do is just hit store recall multiple times until you see no changes. And then you hit shift local and store recall again and you'll go back to the connection settings. Next let's set up a LAN interface on the 34972A. You hit the same shift local button and then store recall. Right now it's set to USB interface, so switch it to LAN interface, hit store recall, make sure it's enabled. Uh, it's showing that it is connected because I do have the LAN cable at the back of the instrument connected to my PC. Hit store recall. You can reset, reset the LAN uh, if you want to, especially if you just set up the connection on a new uh, switch box. So, uh, hit store recall. Uh, these are the other settings in the LAN interface. Take note of the IP address because that is what you're going to use in the Agilin IO Connection Expert. And then go through the other um, LAN settings by hitting store recall. So now that we have set up LAN interface on the 34972A and RS-232 on 34970A. We can go onto the computer and uh, set up the connection there. Viewers, now we are going to set up RS-232 connection with the 34970A and LAN interface with the 34972A. First, open Agilent IO Connection Expert by going to your tray, clicking on right clicking on the IO uh, logo and clicking on Agilent Connection Expert. Now once the Agilent Connection Expert window is open, at the very top, this is your computer name and to connect to the 34970A, you will click on COM1, right click on it and click on Add Instrument. You can leave it as auto identify. Click OK. And as you can see, it has already detected the instrument and it's the right one. But if you notice, its name is Hewlett Packard. And this is because it, the instrument that I have has a old firmware on it. And back then, Agilent was under Hewlett Packard. If you had a newer 34970A, it will show Agilent over here. Now you can do a quick test uh, with this instrument by clicking on 10 commands to this instrument. And you can do uh, the identify query. Click on send and read. And you would see the same string as you saw here. Now let's connect to the LAN interface of the 34972A. 
click on LAN connection. As you can see, I have a few other IP addresses. This is because I am connected to other instruments. But uh, click on LAN, right click on it, and click on Add Instrument. Now click on Add Address. Check on Use IP Address. And I took note of the IP address of the instrument. And it is 156, 140, 158. 56 for my instrument it will be different for you test the connection first it shows that the instrument is present and then you can click on identify instrument and as you can see the 34972A is a newer instrument so it shows up as Agilent click OK now we have the 34970A and the 34972A connected to the computer. You can close out of this and now open the Benchlink data logger software, which you can get by going to Agilent Technology, opening Agilent Benchlink data logger tree, and clicking on it. Now you would use this software to acquire the data from your data acquisition instrument. Click on Add Instrument, click on Find. And you can see it has already detected 34970A because there is only one RS-232 connection. The 34972A takes a little longer because I had a multiple instruments connected to my LAN. Now we have both the instruments uh, available to us. Select on both of them and click on connect. And there you go. Now you have uh, the 34970A connected through RS-232 to your Benchling data logger software and the 34972A connected to your Benchling data uh, logger software through LAN interface and it's the same IP address. Thank you for watching and um, please check out YouTube videos on the 34970A find out more about its application. Thank you.